Hi, I'm Antonia. This is Universally Me. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Antonia Carlotta and join the Lemley family on Patreon for tons of bonus content. I love The Mummy and I love Dracula, both made about a year apart in 1932 and 1931 respectively. They are two of the movies that put Universal on the map and solidified my Uncle Carl and Junior's place in history as the fathers of the Universal monsters. Or, I don't know, maybe they should be known as the uncles of the Universal monsters. I really haven't thought about this label enough, but you get the idea. These movies are iconic. They are so influential in shaping the horror genre as we know it today. But there's something that I can't help but notice when I watch, and that is that Dracula and the Mummy are the same movie. Now, obviously they have differences. They're not exactly the same. One is a vampire and one is a mummy. One is from Transylvania and one is from Egypt. One drinks blood and the other doesn't. But let me walk you through the similarities and see if I can convince you. One, they both start with the same music. Both Dracula and the mummy open with Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. I honestly don't know if I can play it here. This is so dumb, but I still don't understand how copyright strikes work. But you know the song. It's like dun 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 dun. I've heard it used to open Phantom of the Opera as well, and it was used in Murders in the Rue Morgue in 1932. And these days, the song is very much associated with the Universal Monsters. Two, they both star undead creatures. I know we established that they're different undead creatures, but undead nonetheless. Dracula is a vampire preying on the living, and the mummy is an ancient Egyptian brought back to life, determined to find his lost love. Both monsters likely represent a fear of death, otherness, and the unknown. Three, they both have hypnotic powers. Dracula and the mummy are not afraid to use those powers to procure a servant, nor on their leading ladies. Four, both movies start in the monster's homeland and then relocate to a new city. In Dracula, we start among the rugged peaks in Transylvania and then relocate to London. In The Mummy, we start in the ancient pyramids of Egypt and then relocate to Cairo just a few thousand years later. Both films have a female love interest endangered by the monster. Yeah, this is to be expected in any film, kind of, but it's still another way that these two movies are the same. In Dracula, Mina is pursued by Dracula. And in The Mummy, Helen is pursued by Ardeth Bay, the modern incarnation of The Mummy. Six, both female love interests have fiancés played by David Manners. In Dracula, he plays Jonathan Harker. And in The Mummy, he plays Frank Wemple. Seven, someone is suspicious of both monsters. That person is an expert and that person is played by Edward Van Sloan. In Dracula, he plays Van Helsing, a name that we are so familiar with these days. He examines Renfield, he discovers Dracula has no reflection, and he knows to destroy him by impaling him with a wooden stake. In The Mummy, he plays Dr. Muller, who discovers Ardeth Bay as the mummy and knows he needs to be destroyed by burning the Scroll of Thoth. Eight. Both movies have the same ending. The women are unwell in bed. Nurses and their fiancés care for them outside. They're both hypnotized by their monster and lured out, leading to their climax scenes. Nine, they have a ton of overlap on cast and crew. I mean, we already talked about David Manners and Edward Van Sloan. Did I mention that Jack Pierce did the makeup on both? And then of course, Carl Lemley and Junior Lemley. And then we have John Balderston and Vera West and Carl Freund and King Grey all working on both films. 10, they both inspired a slew of vampire and mummy movies over the next century. And there's really nothing more to say there. So what's the final verdict? Are Dracula and the Mummy the same movie? Well, of course not. But are they really similar? Hell yes. 
Despite their many similarities, they were each able to carve out enough in their story and their aesthetics to make them really unique and special in their own right. And of course, Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff are so iconic in their roles that each deserves a watch. Let me know if there are any other similarities you think I missed and let me know which movie you think did it better. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Antonia Carlotta. Join the Lemley family for bonus content. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.